What's going on guys? In this video we're going to show you an absolutely devastating cover 3 bomb out of the gun tray open formation. What's going on guys? My name's Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We upload videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at this game, just click that subscribe button. We'll get you going up and we'll get you going. Um, we've got videos on offense and defense every single day coming on the channel on Madden 22. So if you want the most up-to-date Madden 22 schemes, be sure to subscribe. Now, Gun Tray Open, this is out of the Minnesota Vikings playbook. This play is called Vikings Dig. This is one of my favorite plays in the formation. And we're gonna show you in this video how to use this concept to obliterate Cover 3, uh, Mabel, the meta coverage that you see, probably most common, uh, most common coverage in Madden uh, this season. Now, you can do this a couple of different ways. There are several, um, there, there's a couple of different ways that we can cope about accomplishing this. Um, but really, it's as simple as just calling the play. We really don't even need to do any adjustments. I'm going to first show you the route, and then uh, we're going to talk about why this is so good. Now, if you want to get my full gun tray open guide um, from the Vikings playbook, then you can get that offensive guide down in the description. I'm going to leave a link where you can go sign up for our true fan membership. And as a true fan member, you're not only going to get this guide, but you get everything in the membership, which includes a new offense every week, a new defense every week and pro player breakdown. So if you want the most up-to-date and really high-level Madden content, that true fan membership is just five bucks a month and you get literally 12 additional videos every single month that will help you just absolutely dominate in this game. Now, cover three, Mabel. You saw I've got it set up here. We're not gonna do anything. We're just gonna snap the ball and I just wanna show you what this route to X. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna pass lead to the left. As soon as he's even, he's leaving. And as you can see right there, we've got a nice little window. Now Brady, not the best quarterback, uh, Rodgers would be able to just absolutely, you know, dot this up. And if you've got Gunslinger and Mutt, this will be fine. Uh, I'm going to show you some other additional things you can do on this route in just a minute. But if you just watch this X route, pass lead this. Once he's even, he's leaving. Just pass lead to the left. Click on. And I'm getting a weird swerve catch animation. But basically, you're going to swerve catch and you're going to rack that up field and score. Um, that's pretty much the gist of it. Let me show it to you one more time. And then we'll go over a little thing that you can do with this. So, again, I'm just passing this to the left. Click on. I don't, you don't even have to click on. You can just catch it. And as you can see, we're able to dot. Now, how can we make this a little bit better? Well, a couple ways we can make this better. Uh, one of the ways that we can make this play better is by using essentially a motion snap slant. So if I use, uh, I'm going to show you two ways that you can do this. So um, the first way is we can simply just take this uh, slot receiver that's on this dig route. And if we have hot route master, we can put him on a post route and then motion him to the left. And we're just gonna snap the ball right about, like right there. And now what you're gonna see is you've got that post and then you've got that, that concept. And now look at how look at how that kind of gets over the top still. So that's still an option for you. The other thing that you can do though is simply just put him on a slant route. Well, and we're gonna show some of the other reads in just a second so you can realize it's not just, a, it's not just one route. Um, you can do other stuff. So if I put this guy on a slant and just motion him across, and just snap it kind of like right in there. The slants are so good at just messing with zones this year, in my opinion. So you'll see it just going to continue to f basically give you the same read. As you see, you get that rack catch, and you get over the top of the defense. Now, this uh, the C route. Let's talk about the C route for just a minute uh, real quick. And we're just going to, um, you know what, for right now, let's just put a yellow zone over there. Just just for, just for a second, I want to show you the route. Um, so what I like about this C route, it's one of the better C routes in the game. What you can do with this is you can smart route it. It's going to make it go kind of a little bit shallower. Um, and you'll see right here that it's going to get in a really tender spot against cover three zone. This route is also really, really good at beating man-to-man -man coverage. So if you get a man-to-man -man read, um, this is your route right here. Watch how this thing just gets it right there on the cut. Easy read against man coverage. It's going to beat man every single time. It's going to be really, really good um, if they shade up out of man coverage. So if you get shaded up man coverage, you're seeing I'm just smart routing this route. Look at that. Easy read for the quarterback. It's really sharp cutting C routes. So what makes it so good uh, against man. So against man, that's really your concept, uh, or that's really the route that you want to hit. Now against Mabel coverage, one of the beauties of this formation um, that, that I personally like is if they're usering over here and they're going to drift into the middle and they see something like this, well, then now what we've got is you're going to see this C route. Watch how everything just sucks in. And I can throw this ball with an outside pass lead. And this is a concept that's been good for years in Madden. This idea of short side C routes against against uh, cloud flats. 
they really do a decent job it's this year um, as long as you get the right C route so I've got the right C route in this concept so I can throw this you'll see that running back's gonna suck that zone in that table route really does a good job and as you can see I'm able to put this in a really good position where only my receiver can catch the football let me show you um, let me show you a curl flat zone I've been showing you seam flats seam flats are the most popular zone in this year's game a lot of people are not the most popular zone but the most popular way that people play that underneath purple if you use a curl flat zone, a curl flat's gonna get outside a little bit better. You see how it gets outside a little bit better? So that's a that's a little bit of a thing that you have to be prepared for. And if you're getting those purple zones, that's where you can really check it down to the running back. Because what you're gonna see is that the snap of the ball, there's not gonna be anybody over here. Okay, just snap, throw it, take your routes, take your five to 10 yards, okay? You can easily do that and just work your way up the field with that one concept over on that side of the field. The other thing that I like to do um, occasionally, and when I say occasionally, it's rare, but I'll show you one other concept with this, and that's to take R1 and put him on a vertical route. The reason why I like this double vertical is you're going to see it's just going to continue to create margin for you to hit Scotty Miller up the seam. Now, the one thing I would tell you is, as you saw right there, um, the only thing I would say and you can mess around with this a little bit, but basically you just need two vertical. You don't have to have three vertical on this. So if I put a comeback out there to circle, um, it's the same basic concept. And you see here this bomb, just basically you're just passing it to the left. Okay, it's gonna work on both sides. It doesn't really, you know, it's not, it's not gonna matter necessarily. Uh, the one thing I would also point out to you is you can smart route Scotty Miller's route. So if you look at his route right here, you see he's going to cut inside at about 10 yards. If I smart route that, that's going to get it to about 11 to 12. So that is going to help it because it's going to go a little bit deeper before it angles. And now you see it's just got a longer developing route, and I can get him over the top, okay, as you can see. So this is a great concept. If you're getting a lot of cover three, a lot of people, uh, they just don't defend this. They really don't. Um, one thing you can also do real quick is you can take square and put him on a smart route, a dig route. And then basically what I would do is just drag Godwin, something like this. And what you should see is you should see a decent uh, little glitch here. If you watch this safety, see how I can still pass lead him open. So I don't necessarily have to leave this. All I'm saying is I don't have, I don't have to leave the C route. So I can, you know, that's something else I can, I can run concepts. Uh, I can run concepts off of that. So it could look something like this where... Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So if I were to take um, circle, put him on a fade, or a, not a fade, but a um, comeback route, and then uh, I took square and put him on a smart route to dig, maybe put like a hitch there, something like this. Watch this cover three, uh, that zone on the left is still going to glitch out. Um, it's not as good, but it's still there. You still can get it up and over. Uh, bullet passing to me has not been the most effective way to pass lead this. The most effective way to pass lead this that I have found is to lob it. I mean, that outside third is not going to bite back. So just lob this thing to the left. And I, uh, Brady's arm is killing me because he just doesn't have the strength. But that's all you have to do. You just simply, once you see that, uh, once you see that he is even, he's leaving. Okay. So once you once you get even with the safety, you're you're throwing. Okay. So right here he gets even. Safety, once really once the safety just turns around uh, and then that's what you're getting right there every time okay so this is a great little concept uh, to be able to use if you want to attack the safety out of cover three this is a great it's very simple um, but it's really really good now you can also you'll see here that I can motion so like if I motion this guy to the right you're gonna see that Scotty Miller is gonna move a little bit um, this is just gonna help the concept even more um, it's not necessarily the best if I get heavy pressure here, but you'll see and Brady's gonna butcher it But you saw he he got the same the same separation. That is what makes this so good. He's still able to get that um, I've always really liked where Scotty Miller is located in this formation now real quick I do want to show one last thing about this play and then we'll, we'll move on uh, from this video But uh, I want to show one last thing about this So if I run this with my trips, so if I have my three wide receivers to the short side I just want to show you that this is why we always recommend to have your trips to the wide side. But let me just show you what happens if I have this to the short side. So watch X here, and what you'll see is the same thing. Pass lead to the left, but it's a, it's not as 
it's not as clean it is open but it's not as open um, as it was if you're on the short side that's where the dig route is going to become much more uh, important so if i bring this guy over in motion i better make sure that he's on a dig route right so i get something like this maybe snap the ball kind of right in that pocket and now i've got this like kind of crisscross action um you know that's not as, as clean of an option for us but that's just that's just another way that you can kind of go about it so anyways the bottom line is uh run this to the wide side of the field if you try running it to the short side you can um it's just not as good in my opinion uh, i just I, I wouldn't i wouldn't run this to the short side as much uh, as i would run this to the wide side if you do run it to the short side you can use um like a you can use like a dig route um because that outside third will just kind of freak out anyway but the problem is it just takes too long for the receiver to get up and over so that's why i like the wide side of the field but anyways thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it again this is very simple i'm going to show you the concept one more time and then we'll close down if you want to get the offensive guide it's down in the description all you got to do is join the true fan membership and you'll get access to all of my content um for that and if you want to get that again it's just five bucks there's going to be a link down below but literally all you do is just snap this play and then you're just going to wait as soon as that safety kind of runs and turns his hips then we're just throwing that out there and as you can see we don't even have to do anything the computer will auto generate a rack catch for us and we'll be able to get up the field so thanks for your time i hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time